With every episode starting, it seems the gap between them seems to get smaller because it's been not that long since our last episode. But either way, we're back again with the never ending ep with the never ending Let's Play series WWE 2004. And just like always, Sam. Yo, what up? It's like uh, anytime uh. Anytime we think it's over, it keeps dragging us back in. Uh, I think you keep dragging me back in more life. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um. So to start, I wanted to point out some emails, namely, we apparently have pushed Shinsuke Nakamura to a certain point to where he wants to be pushed a little better, so we got to explore that. But also, well, uh... I'm with us then. But also our resident mathematician, Mr. Steiner, has been offered by TNA. Wait, what? Scott Steiner? Scott Steiner was offered by TNA. Wait, I thought, wait, do we have him under contract? What's the deal with that? His contract was expiring and they offered him a new one. And they offered him while he... We have, we had an offer out on him, but while we were waiting for an offer to come back, his answer to come back, TNA jumped in and offered him. Oh, wow. I mean, I think that the only reason why our offer is not being seriously considered is because it's for a year less, or almost a year less than TNA's, because we're off, offer. because we're off, we're offering him more money. Yeah, that's all it took. For, for Whatever, I wouldn't be heartbroken if uh, we didn't get the big bad booty daddy. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I, didn't, I wasn't. I wouldn't be angry if he did not resign either. And yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura would prefer to be pushed as an upper mid carder. I. Th oh my God, he's a he's he's a sixty everywhere. He's a sixty. He's a 60 in the state. Did we do that? That was us, right? It was either us or maybe a combination of us and New Japan. Yeah, but New Japan doesn't do anything in the United States. Yeah, it was probably us. Because his popularity has jumped up a lot. Like 50 points in the last five months. Wow. Just out of curiosity. That slow burn. Mm -hmm. No, and we didn't even take it, and we didn't even take any popularity from Sean O'Hare. Nice. Well, we're gonna get Nakamura like actually like known. Yeah, and then that'll be when it gets stolen. <laughs> okay. By the way, I finished what I was doing, um, getting my wife's laptop set up, so I'm all pay attention to you. Okay, just in time for velocity. <clears throat> Because it is SmackDown time. Well, you did velocity that fast. No, I looked. I was going to start with the emails because we because TNA was going to try and steal. Oh, Shana, I'm confused. Uh, did we have Scott Steiner before this? Yeah, his contract was out. Leaving us going to TNA. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't remember what we were doing with him, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, speaking of that. Rodney Mack and Mark Henry. That's, play play a holla holla. that's what Scott Steiner was doing. And we got Kidman and Mysterio on SmackDown, Brock and Taker, Benoit and Cena, Angle and Jericho, and the world's greatest tag team against Matt Hardy. Wait, against Matt Hardy? I think we were going to find a tag team partner for Matt Hardy. Well, we could always put, uh, we could always drop stuff in or out. But he's on Raw. Well, that's true. He's not here, he's on Raw. He's not traveling with us. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but Chris Hero's. Chris Hero. There we go. 
Chris I'm Hero on the Wi-Fi. is. I have my earbuds in, and everything is a okay. Uh, Who the fuck is that weird looking dude? Aries. He was Claudio's partner before Chris Hero. I'm assuming. Well, in, Euro- in Europe. I'm assu- Yeah, I'm assuming in Europe. Yeah. Well, it said that in his bio. And how to read. Eddie Guerrero uh, took Chris Hero under his wing. So now oh, he's mentoring wow. Chris That's Hero. So cool. Yeah. Let's do, uh, are they both on SmackDown? Mm-hmm. Let's do a job match where Eddie beats Chris Hero in the dark match. You do know that's going to be a really good match, right? Okay, then put on the main show. Yeah, we'll save it for SmackDown. Oh, yeah, this is Velocity. Forget that. Yeah. I keep <laughs> forgetting that the B-shows exist. I love the B-shows, because you can do whatever the fuck you want in the B-shows. Yeah, really. Mm, where are they? Oh, there they are. Headbangers! Uh, why not yeah, them? Works. And also you can make the matches go longer on the B-shows than you would on the A-show to give people more time. Not that that really makes a difference, but it sounds nice. Um, not that it makes a difference. Yeah, not that it makes a difference. It just sounds good. Yes, no, it's true. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can push that match or that feud the Cruiserweight title one on this show, so we have plenty of more time for the feuds that actually matter. Because, you know, not to say we don't care about the Cruiserweight division, but we don't care about the Cruiserweight division. Not to say we don't care about the Cruiserweight division, we just don't care about Velocity. Well, it's also that we know... um, We know that... Uh, Rey Mysterio all have or could have a good segment, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Kidman would. So I'd rather have the bad segment yeah. on Velocity than have the bad segment on on SmackDown. No, I agree. Daniel Bryan against Nunzio. Okay. Um. I never got Nunzio as a name. I never knew. It. I never understood it. They own it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, but it's just the logic of the name. Yeah, I mean, I I get that. Um. Then why not Sean O'Hare? Billy Gunn and Sean O'Hare. That could be interesting. Have you ever seen Billy Gunn in person? No. He is huge. Like, TV does not do him justice. I saw Billy Gunn at an indie show, like, maybe like 15 years ago, or maybe more. And it was just, like, insane how big he was. I just, I never understood how big he was, I guess, until I saw him in person. That's true. I mean, TV does add 10 pounds, so you could have thought he was fat, but not big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, he's thinner and taller than I expected. <laughs> oh, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Yeah. Well, do you watch Friends? Yeah. There was a scene where they showed Monica when she was in high school. Right. And she was all fat, and they're like, not laughing at her and then she's like shoot up the camera at 10 pounds and then Chandler goes how many cameras were on you? <laughs> the resident friends quote we should do that every every episode now <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly here's uh, another one here's another good one uh, they caught Chandler smoking cigarettes and they're like Chandler you're smoking again? And he goes, well, yesterday was again. 
So today would be still. <laughs> it's true. I'm full of Chandler one-liners from friends. And I'm full of ideas of how to help the mid-card. Do we have Daniel Bryan in a feud? I'm just putting him in a feud. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> With the FBI. Oh, that's cool. Daniel Bryan against the uh, FBI. Yeah. I could dig that. Can you? So what happens? He beats Nunzio and then he gets jumped after the match? Pretty much. That would be good. And then next week he comes out with a little promo going... You bastards. When did uh, when did Daniel Bryan become Johnny Ace? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's go that way. Let's just have these guys talk about their history. Talk about the history. Just the history between Mysterio and Kid. Because that's one thing I never understood with WWE is that they own all this history and all this video footage, but they never use it in feuds, or they don't use it as nearly as much as they should. Yeah. The tells never got here, huh? Say it again. The tells never got here. Oh, nothing. I, I ordered towels like an hour ago. They have still been arrived. Ah. Uh -huh. Let me see if they put them outside. I see a lady with a laundry cart. With a towel cart. In the hallway. Hey, so, uh, the reason why we came here to Reno was because uh, we signed up for the, like, the rewards program for this hotel and they sent us two nights complimentary stay for each one of us. So we're here for four nights complimentary. Oh. I guess uh, I guess the hotel was desperate to fill out, fill out for the week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, because, you know, they, they have more business. And so, um, so we're taking the opportunity to come here for free and go to comedy shows, go to mics and do open mics and stuff. Good. Yep. And speaking of good, Velocity's done. Nice. We got Saturn. Is this the first match or is this a dark match? No, that was the first match. Aries, the Aries got it like a 12. I'm excited to see what Brian Danielson does. We got Simon Diamond and his cronies. Okay, Diamond and Swinger. Simon Diamond did really... Really good, actually. 55 for, uh, yeah. compared to the other guys who carried the match. I'm not just saying that because the game told me to. Simon Dino is heading shoulders above the rest. Yeah. He's got a problem. <laughs> when does Simon not have a problem? Simon has a problem. Oh, uh, they were supposed to be off screen. Oh, well. That's all right. It's still gained. Uh, Brian go. got a 42. Not bad. I mean, he's no Simon Diamond, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I also forgot that Tony Mamaluke was in the company. And apparently Daniel and Nunzio don't have chemistry. So it is possible that both of them got worse because the fact that they don't have chemistry. Mm, that's so... Yeah. Definitely a velocity well, feud. He can, he can fight the other guys. Sure. Yeah. He can also fight Tony Mamaluke. <laughs> yeah. He can. Learn who he wants to. Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn, 56. 60. Oh, it was 60. Yeah. So I remember the small my phone screen. 58. 42 for, uh... Mr. Hill Hair. Test. Why do you name his game after test? He sucks. <laughs> he doesn't suck. He was willing to go to developmental. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
that's true. <laughs> I was looking for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's put this in development. Hey, you want to go to that one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. Usually they fight it. <laughs> yeah. Good old test. Uh. Did you know that his uh his name is short for drug test? <laughs> I think you're joking, but I kind of think you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you want to start the show? Do you want to start it with Brock and Taker, or do you want to start it with... How do we... What do we do in the last show? It's been so long. Yeah, we probably haven't done it since, uh... Since before the summer. Who sneak attacked Kurt Angle? Who sneak attacked Kurt Angle? Uh... Oh, it was probably gonna be Edge. Or... It was probably gonna be some... start off with Kurt Angle being pissed off. Yeah, it was probably gonna be somebody that, uh... Somebody that, uh... Was in, the You know, his segment... Because we, you know, because we wanted a reason why one. Uh, I think we wanted a reason why Edge would be jumping in after losing to Benoit. Hey, let's do this for a fun little thing. Um, Kurt Angle's pissed, and he got permission from uh, the GM of SmackDown to put all those guys in a match tonight <sighs> against the people he chooses. You, you also want to know a fun little thing? What? Billy Gunn main evented Velocity last week too. <laughs> Oh, wow, two weeks in a row. Yeah. <laughs> or no, maybe not. Maybe not Kringle can make a match for them. Maybe Kringle just calls them all out and questions them all about the attack. Because they're his number one suspects. Well, then how about let's do this. Let's go... But I still want to see Eddie Guerrero versus Chris Hero. Let's start the show with Brock arriving so we know that Bro so people know Brock's at the arena. And then we jump into a match. First, and then we build to t uh, angle, because then at least maybe Brock could be an event tonight or something. Oh, that's true. Um, I guess we kick off with a lower mid card match. Is any girl still half of the tag team champions? Yeah. Oh shit, then let's do um the the, the Guerreros versus the, the Kings of Wrestling. We could do that. Have we done that? Uh a match of course. Fifty fifty, but I doubt it. I'm all for letting Funaki win this match. <laughs> no, I'm I'm okay with that. I love Matt Morgan, but he hasn't competed in, in almost two months, so it's obvious that we don't have anything for him, so why not just fuck him? I hate Matt Morgan. He blocked me on Twitter. Fuck that dude. If I hated everybody that blocked me on Twitter, I'd hate a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know who blocked me on Twitter that was completely random because I don't remember, like, saying anything about him at all? Who? Bull Dempsey. I have one of those, too. Yeah, when he, when he got released mm -hmm. from WWE or from NXT, whatever... I looked him up on Twitter so I could see if I could get him on my podcast, and I was like, this motherfucker has blocked you. One of the, uh, one of the Young Bucks blocked me. Oh, wow. I don't know who. I don't know which one, but I know one of them did. I think Matt did, but Nick didn't. Okay. Eddie and Chavo are... Oh, yeah. How do I know which is which? Angle approaches with questions. That's good. You can see it now, you know, Eddie going, Oh, the day of homes. No, we, we didn't do nothing. Hey, hey uh, go back and put Chris Hero and Claudio Casanoli off camera and don't rate them. You just know that the segment's gonna get good, and you want to see if that helps their popularity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I you. That's what Matt was talking about. 
Like, how are we going to beat these rookies? I don't know, eh? Do we have John Cena in the current feud? With Benoit. Rhino, I think, right? Benoit. Well, with Benoit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nakamura, he's upper mid Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, had I known that, I would have booked him in the opener. I'm good with that, yeah. I think they probably fought already, but that's okay. I'm sure they have. The jury's a match thing on the bottom. <laughs> the jury's won the last two meetings. <laughs> nice. Can't tell who we like better. Let's just open the door since he does have, since he does have, you know, meant uh, clients or friends or whatever, whatever you want to call Bakio and Sakota. I wish I wish Ultimo had a better run in WWE in real life. No. Yeah. I wish he knew. I wish he knew the language better too. So this way we can have him, have him. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? You're right. They probably should have signed Sonny Ono too. Yeah, this way Sonny Ono could file file a lawsuit against them too for only giving him uh, minorities. Because I think that's what they did gave. Did he sue because he thinks Vince, Vince Russo was racist? Well, no. Vince Russo actually did say stuff that oh, uh, you. Uh, International guys could never make it in a United States company. You know, nobody wants to see. Yeah, yeah no, I, yeah, I know he said that. Um, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know how much of a malice he meant behind it. I thought he was just trying to, like, you know, be as big at TV. I mean, yeah, because he's kind of a white big guy, so I guess he probably didn't mean it like mean. But yeah, he said something like, like, uh, get all the international stars off TV because they don't sell ratings. American stars do only. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I think Sonny Ono so sued him for only giving him minorities and never mm. pushing the minorities. Yeah. I mean, nothing's better than, uh, what was it? I think uh, Hard Work Bobby Walker. He uh, <laughs> he sued him. him. He sued him because he wanted because he thought because he never got a push. And he thought it was because he was black. Like, no, it's not because you're black. It's because you suck. Yeah, exactly. Now he's a pedophile. He's actually in jail for pedophilia. What, or, Bobby Walker? Or, or something like that. B b human trafficking or pedophilia or something like that. Let's just say allegedly. Yeah. Oh, I know. What, what's his name? Boris Zukov. He's in, the, he's in there for... Some, he's in jail too for something crazy. Yeah, so is... Um um, uh, did, did you mean Buck Zukov? Oh yeah, Buck Zumhoff. Sorry, Boris Zukov. I didn't mean anything by it. Sorry. No, yeah, no, that's really bad what he was doing. I, might go to I, I know about what he was charged with, but I'm not going to go into the details on that one. Yeah, we'll stick with Chris Benoit. <laughs> Wait, what? We'll stick with Chris Benoit jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And making fun of Matt Hardy for not having a partner. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, you know what? Let's do. Let's give Matt Hardy um, some people from developmental, like different people. We could do that. It's funny because that's actually what the segment says: "A world's greatest poke fun at Matt Hardy for being alone and not having a partner." <laughs> Wait, where's Jeff? Is he in rehab again? He is, right? Yep. But isn't, didn't Jeff come out of rehab and then go right back into rehab? Yep. Oh my gosh. He's gonna miss all of 2004 because of he because of him being in rehab. Well, he's not gonna be dead. Um. I mean, not yet anymore. Says Undertaker is not here and asks Brock if he wants a match tonight. You know, the story with them is it's gotten to the point where they can't even be trusted to be in the same arena at the same time without fighting each other. 
So one night Brock's here, the other night Taker's here, the next night Brock's here, the next night Taker's here. That works. Or the next week, not the next night. You know, we don't have the wild card rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Brock doesn't do house shows. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, apparently we got the Lords of the Ring with uh, Rob Conway and uh, Nick Dinsmore. I don't even know. And apparently, Claudio worked. No, Chris Hero worked. Yeah, apparently Chris Hero worked on Heat. <laughs> Even though they're supposed to be SmackDown guys. Because I'm pretty sure... No, no. I guess we didn't... I guess we... Let's just stick them on no, SmackDown. No yeah. I guess we didn't do that with certain minor talent. You know, lower card guys. Um... Let's. Do you want Cena to compete tonight, or do you want Benoit to compete tonight? Uh, let's have Cena compete. I mean, let's have Benoit compete, but Cena does like a rap on him. Well, what did we do last week with Cena and Benoit? Uh, they just have a heated confrontation, which either happened last week or at the pay per view. Okay, yeah, have, have Benoit compete and have Cena run a rap on him. A freestyle. Cena like, raps. Goofus aggression. More like little bitch. Doesn't mind though. You can't. You can't. You gotta be be careful what you say about Benoit. He might snap. <laughs> <laughs> he might. He might lose another tooth. Huh. We might live to. We might not live to see the day. <laughs> Good shit, pal. <laughs> Talking about death. That's good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to let Benoit... Are you gonna, uh, speaking of good shit, are you going to watch uh, um, All Out? And if I'm working, if I'm home, maybe. If not, I'll probably just watch the highlights. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to watch it because I'm off at 5 and it starts at 6. So that'd be fun. Yeah. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Um, I kind of want to let Benoit fight Nakamura. That would be good. No, I'm down. For, I'm definitely down to see that. Just because I mean, Benoit has to win, but whatever. Well, just because I don't know if we will get the opportunity, like who will get the opportunity to feud with Nakamura when Nakamura is up there. Yeah. No. No. I'm really good with Benoit versus Nakamura. Or his match and angle interrupts to question him about last week. Oh, well, unless you want to have Nakamura versus Jericho, but I just want Nakamura versus one um, of them. No, Benoit, Benoit. Okay. Jericho's fighting main eventers at this point because he's playing for the world title. Now I'm just excited to see what this match gets. <laughs> Me too. Um, this is a pretty good smack, though. I'm pretty excited about this. I am too. For once, we're actually doing good. <laughs> Just because I want to end with Brock and Taker, or well, do you want to keep Brock and Taker separated until the pay per view, or do you want it to be where Taker interrupts Brock's match after after Brock's match and just they stare down and that's how the show ends, or would you prefer them keeping apart? I'm okay with the stare down. I think that should be fine. What do you think? Well, I was either I was going back and forth because it was either going to be them ending the show or Angle and Edge. Oh, okay. Let's end it with Angle and Edge, and then let's have the GM. Who's the GM? Heyman. Is it Paul? Yeah. So let's have Paul say um, that he's not going to keep them 
in the same building at the same time. Or or even say if if um they touch each other then the match is off. Okay. Maybe not to close the show, but at some point. Well we can do that now where Paul offers an explanation. Oh oh, he can announce that Taker's gonna be competing next week. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Heyman announces Taker vs. Show next week and explains where Taker is. And they put Brock on there too off, off camera. Or you can even put him on camera, really. Because he's uh, in the building. Yeah, let's just put him off camera. That's fine. Okay. Put Brock in a job match against a developmental guy. Actually, I think we have a developmental guy up. I think we. I think I brought. Oh, yeah. Antonio Thomas. I met a guy that we wanted to, like, invest in a little bit. Oh. It's okay. Okay. Antonio Thomas is alright for once. We'll, we'll uh, figure it out next time. We'll kind of uh, better. Uh, I got. the main event. Well, no, I got it. Kirk could be the main event, and then Edge could enter, Edge could run out after the main event and attack him, revealing that he's the guy that he's the guy that attacked him last week. Now he's got two over the world champion. Okay, so let's make Matt Hardy seem important. So, are we transitioning into Angle versus Edge? No, it's a four-way. Uh, it's a four-way oh, at okay. Great American Bash. Oh yeah, Charlie Haas would be a good partner. They're feuding. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> I was like, you should put the Rose Grand Tag Team in there too. <laughs> to someone... Men and he mentions... I just like Charlie Haas. To me, he's like the guy that I left in the dust. Yeah. I wouldn't want to say Marty Jannetty, but he kind of got Marty Jannetty. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter because Shelton didn't really accomplish anything. That's true. Not as much as people thought he would have. No. I mean, he had longevity, but that's about it. Oh, yeah, and that's, you know, rewarded for something, but, you know, it's like you're a good hand. Yeah. He's a good hand. Sorry, Sean Spears. Sean Spears say good hands? No, he said that's why he attacked Cody, because Cody said he was a good hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's way too insider for a storyline, though. I mean, I know about that term because I hear it on Steve Austin, but, like, on the Steve Austin podcast and stuff, but that's just way too insider. He said it was a good wrestler. How dare you? Let's get Karen Angle on a contract here. Before I don't, she marries Jeff Jarrett. I don't think she debuts until like 20, uh, 2008 or 2007 yeah, or something like that. Right. All right. We got an interesting episode of SmackDown here. It is. It's kind of all over the place and I like it. <laughs> That's the best type of show. <laughs> Great Mysterio versus Ryan. Yeah. Brock Lesnar versus Antonio Thomas is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> um, I think you should switch the Benoit angle. I mean, sorry, the Cena angle and the Jericho angle. Switch places. Oh, okay. That way Cena's more close to the Benoit match. Okay. Everything else good? Yeah, I think so. Hey, good start. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it's funny how we're acting like it wasn't going to be a good rating. <laughs> yeah, it could have been better, though. If, I think if uh, if you put Heyman or Angle in there. 
Uh, no, no, nothing more than 39? what I was. Well, Matt Morgan got a 36, and Funaki got a. And more, Funaki got a 41. Oh, Matt Morgan needs to go back to developmental. I say next week. I say next week. 76. Not bad, so they're just talking about their tag team match tonight. Angle Watson going, Hey, Eddie, who the fuck are you packing last week? And he's like, I don't know, Holmes. Yeah, and I say next week Funaki gets a title shot against Funaki. I mean, Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Tanaki versus Funaki. Yes, Funaki versus himself. Ultimo versus... Ultimo Dragon versus Taijiri. Got the cued after Akio ran in and saved him. Is that a 58 for Dragon? Uh-huh. Is that a 63 for for, for, for Tajiri? Yeah. Is that racist that you only ca almost called him Funaki? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Funaki. But in my defense, Funaki was just on the screen a second ago. Yeah, in your defense, they all look the same. <laughs> And that's why we put Heyman in segments. That's why we cheated and put him in two. <laughs> 66, not bad. Not bad. What did Chris Hero get? 33, 34 for Claudio. And then Eddie got an 86 and Charles got a 63. Yes. 81. We're really helping the Jer we're really helping the Jericho angle feud. Yeah, he really like is confronting Jericho now. We're really helping that feud. It really needed to be helped. <laughs> Rhino beat yeah. Ray. Oh, 74. Yeah. Cena does good. We gotta remember that you know in a month and a half when we do when we do the series when we do another episode our. Uh, yeah, it probably isn't far off to say a month and a half for the next SmackDown, at least. Yeah, it's better than three months, at least. Yeah. Well, I think it's only been... Uh, I don't think it's been that long since our last... Maybe, what, two or three weeks? Uh, uh, okay, I take it back. It was, Ju it was July 18th. <laughs> That's, that's not bad. It's, it's only been like six weeks. For us, it's not bad. No. <laughs> okay, Nakamura's not great. He's right there. Sixty-two though. That's not bad for Nakamura. Oh, yeah. Benoit did good yeah, though. Yeah, separate shoulder now. Why not Davy headbutt? Benoit just got CT. And another solid segment for Mister Heyman. Announcing Taker's match against the Big Show next week, right here on Paul Heyman's SmackDown. It's funny, didn't he used to say that when he when he was GM? Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> oh wow, Brock toyed <laughs> Brock toyed with Antonio Thomas for a minute and nineteen seconds. I really thought it was gonna. <laughs> I love those matches when you look and you see it went it went for under a minute. Yeah. Like forty five seconds or whatever. Well, you beat with a Brock lock. Yeah. That's, it was replaced by, it would be replaced by the Kimura. I think the Brock lock was just a bear hug. Yeah, I think it was that, I think it was his bear hug. Or it was the, uh, the lock when he puts the leg over the shoulder, over his head. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, a little bit. But the next thing about the you think you know me? Oh, that is sad. Well, Edge is not ridiculously popular. He's just in there because we wanted somebody else in there to help the feud. That's true. Eddie and him are in there because we needed to help the feud, not because they deserve it. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Not too terrible. I liked it. It, it, lost, it <laughs> lost more than it gained in overall. It was... It was better than last week's episode. <laughs> Well, that's At least we're improving. <laughs> but yeah. maybe... Um... But maybe, uh... Maybe we get a little bit better next week. Hopefully. Well, with that being said... Uh, let's see if I remember my outro. Um... 
With that being said, let us know down in the comment section below what you thought of this episode, and considering I think it's 50-50 that Bad Blood might be coming up next, or if it's not coming up next, next week will be the go-home show for us. Bad Blood, which I think is actually what the case is, that next week's episode of Raw is the go-home for Bad Blood. So let us know down in the comment section below what you think of this episode of SmackDown and the long build we're doing for Great American Bash. And also, feel free to look back at the last episode of Raw and tell us what you think of the plans so far for Bad Blood. All that and more down in the comment section, but if you don't feel like leaving a comment, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Hey, do you think for Bad Blood, we should do like a, a first blood match with Abdullah the Butcher? Maybe Abdullah the Butcher versus X-Pac in a first blood match. <laughs> if we had X-Pac, then I would say yes, but he's signed to a written contract well, both, with TNA. They both have pretty bad blood. They have like hepatitis or something. <laughs> and don't forget right. it, to ding dong that notification bell to always know when a new video comes up on the channel because you need that because that's how rare it is for a new video to come up it's true you never know it could be next Tuesday it could be after graduation and it could be next year of what I don't know could be but either way until next time <laughs>